गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट शोल्डर जॉइंट एग्जामिनेशन सो इट इज टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड थॉरो क्लिनिकल हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द पेशेंट विदाउट अ थॉरो हिस्ट्री क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ शोल्डर जॉइंट विल नॉट लीड यू एनी वेयर एज हिपोक्रेट्स हैड सेड डिक्लेयर द पास्ट डायग्नोज द प्रेजेंट and foretell the future so to diagnose what is presently ailing the patient you have to go through the clinical history first and then the examination only then you will be able to make the correct diagnosis and proceed on to a correct treatment for the patient so we are through with the history we are starting with the uh, general physical examination first in general physical examination it's important to do a ligamentous laxity scoring or the beaten scoring this is specially important in patients with complaints or suggestive of shoulder instability so beaten scoring is out of 9 uh, first point is for the ability of the patient to passively move the thumb towards the volar aspect of the forearm this the patient can do try and do it himself or the examiner can do it so a patient can do it on one arm it's one point if can patient can do on the other arm it's one more point second uh, test is ability of the patient to hyper extend the fifth or the little finger at the mp joint hyper extension more than 90 degrees gives one point for the other arm also another point then you look for hyper extension at the elbow both sides you look for hyper extension more than 10 degrees give one point for right one point for left ask the patient to stand khade ho jayenge aap udhar dekhenge and look at his knees any hyper extension at the knees more than 10 degrees is again gives one point for each limb then you ask the patient to bend forwards aage jhukenge and try and touch his touch his palm to the floor if the patient able to touch the palm to the floor floor it gives another point so if the score is 6 or more the patient is said to have generalized ligamentous laxity baith jayenge aap and patients with generalized ligamentous laxity have a lax joints so they have a inherently lax collagen such patients are usually uh, hyper lax and uh, and when if they have instability symptoms they won't be very good candidates for a surgical reconstruction or repair so after general physical examination you move on to the regional examination of the shoulder the principles of examination remain the same you always start with look or inspection then feel or palpation and then move do movements muscle testing and then do the special tests so first start with inspection keep your shoulder examination modular and be gentle with the patient uh don't cause him any pain explain him whatever you are trying to do so that you take him into confidence and patient is comfortable all the time during the examination so in examination in inspection you start you can start from the front you look at the both the shoulder levels of the patient if they are at the same level look at the nipples both are they the same levels look for any uh, soft tissue abnormality or like swellings in the infraclavicular region uh, supraclavicular region and infraclavicular region any atrophy of the muscles in the pectoral region or the deltoid region look for any bony deformities abnormalities at the medial end of the clavicle lateral end ac joint if you see any Uh, deformity any abnormal prominence of the acromion lateral end of the acromion any abnormal scar sinuses if they are any 
any discoloration abrasions if they are so from the front you look at all this from the uh, side again look at the contour of the dolt, uh, your shoulder uh, patients with a uh, dislocated shoulder a locked dislocation would have lost the rounded contour even in deltoid pa uh, paralysis the contour may not be there look at the contour look at the head posture if it's a forward head posture or a, or not look at if there is any uh, exaggerated cervical lordosis or is it the lordosis is not present any swelling or abnormality present this way uh, then looking from the behind look at again uh, the any abnormal uh, soft tissue abnormalities we are able to appreciate any fullness or atrophy in the supra scap uh, scap spinatus fossa in the infra spinatus fossa if the le level of scapula looks fine on inspection is there any kyphosis um, uh, exaggerated kyphosis of the thoracic spine all these have to be commented upon scapula if there is any abnormal static winging of the scapula or abnormal medial border prominence or inferior angle prominence of the scapula has to be commented upon at this point uh, one thing which we can see from the behind uh, from front behind or from the uh, this lateral side is the posture of the shoulder also whether the shoulder is protracted or drooping or is in a normal looking position all these need to be commented on your inspection findings then moving on to palpation uh, as the dictum is you always in uh, palpation you always start with temperature with the back dorsum of your hand look for temperature on the normal side first and the abnormal uh, uh, affected side then do it f f at different points in front of the shoulder back of the shoulder joint ac joint uh, sternoclavicular joint look just feel the temperature it's norm uh, same on both the sides then mark your uh, uh, mark your bony uh, points which are important uh, important bony points to be marked in a patient uh, shoulder pathology would be your medial end of clavicle so start from the start from the manubrium cerni and then feel, feel the medial end of the clavicle you all preferable to mark whole of the clavicle I'll just go on to the then the lateral end of the clavicle glow along the superior and inferior borders of the clavicle and reach a point where you feel a dip in the clavicle here is your ac joint you can mark the both anterolateral and posterolateral edge of the chromium the way to do is ask the patient to relax the hand pull the hand down you'll be able to easily feel the anterior edge of the chromium posterolateral edge of the chromium mark the lateral acromial border then moving in sideways feel the spine of the scapula and mark it when you take the patient make him move posterior you can also feel the lower or the inferior angle of the scapula important to mark all these points on the opposite side also So all these points have to be marked on both the sides and then you have to confirm your findings of inspection. So I will first do the markings on the opposite side also so, and so that I can confirm my findings of inspection that all these points look symmetrical or not. So marking the anterolateral edge of a chromium, pulling the down the arm down anterolateral edge posterolateral edge the lateral border of a chromium the spine of scapula we already marked the inferior angle of scapula so we confirm the findings of inspection levels look symmetrical 
इस 